There's been a lot of anticipation and hype revolved around Black Myth Wukong. We finally got to play it, and here's my first impressions. My friend begged me back in 2021 to check out a trailer for this new game, Black Myth Wukong, and I was like, yeah, man, whatever, I'll get to it. Little did I know how amazing this game looked. My worry was that once I actually got to play it, would it be the same thing that was shown to us in these trailers? And I gotta say, yes, it is. Once you hit start game, I gotta say, this is a fire ass intro. Probably one of the best intros that I've had in a long time with playing an RPG. To be honest, once I saw Wukong on Cloud Nimbus, I about lost it. And these cutscenes, man, are mwah. I don't wanna show too much from the starting intro because I really want you to experience it for yourself. But yeah, pretty legit. So far, I'm seven hours into the game and it has been a pretty good experience and I'm really happy I made the purchase. I must note, it does lose points because according to political activists, I mean, game journalists, there's not enough diversity and inclusivity. I, ch I just can't. First diving into the gameplay and performance mode, I didn't notice any crazy frame rate drops and it seemed fair. I will state this, it ran a hell of a lot better than Dragon's Dogma 2. Combat is good in the beginning, but it is also kind of bland, which is to be expected. But as we got through those seven hours of gameplay, it did get better, especially as we unlocked more abilities within Wukong's skill tree. I expect more badassery the further we get into the story. The dodging was kind of a challenge for me, but I'm special. Using a staff as Wukong is legit. And if you're at home swinging your stick around, make sure you smack that subscribe button and the notification bell. I should reword that. Being towards the end of chapter two, I have to say it has been a linear experience, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. So I can't speak for the full game. Maybe it'll open up later. Not quite sure. The invisible walls did drive me nuts. And there was the occasional pop in and glitch, but really not too bad. I wish I had the ability to jump off of bridges and cliffs, but that's just me. Maybe I need a therapist. Overall, I've really enjoyed this game. If you've played Black Myth Wukong, how's your experience been? Let me know in the comments. If you're on the fence on purchasing Black Myth Wukong, I don't suggest the Deluxe Edition, which is what I got. And that's just simply because after about an hour and a half, two hours, you will get better equipment and gear. However, the Trailblazer's Gourd that it comes with is OP. The Gourds are used to recover your HP. With this one specifically, it provides an additional usage, and with your first sip, it actually ignores the percentage threshold, which will give you maximum health on that first use. So maybe you'll feel different about spending the extra $10, just wanted to make sure I gave you the heads up. Has this game met my expectations? Yes. Is it what I hoped for so far? Yes. And if you enjoyed this video, get ready for a full on review once we get closer to the ending. Before you head out, make sure you smash that like button, click on the screen, that'll take you to more videos by B Sparks Gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.